Yeah. First, a Riverside woman said she was raped near a metro station last week, setting off a massive police search and putting a neighborhood in fear. Then Marianne Malik's story unraveled. As Pamela Jones shows us, police say she made up the story to persuade her daughter to move back into her apartment. You're still trying to figure out, you know, how could someone do that? That's very sad. It's how a lot of residents and others in Riverside are reacting after finding out Marianne Malik at the center of a rape investigation made the whole thing up. Apparently, Malik told police she had just gotten off the train coming from work. She was headed to her apartment building just a couple of blocks away from the station. She said that she believed she was followed either from someone on the train or at the train depot itself. My girlfriend's garage is right here. First thing I did was come out and lock her garage. The story pushed a lot of worried neighbors to beef up security. We had electricians out here. We're throwing up lights. We everyone's making sure bulbs are going on. But police say they got suspicious when they tried to call Malik and she wouldn't return messages. She wouldn't answer the door for police at her apartment either. Then there's the whole thing about her commute from work. How did you figure out that she wasn't telling the truth? The day that she claims to have been sexually assaulted, she wasn't scheduled to work, which was a big piece of evidence. People who ride the train can't believe Malik's bad behavior. It's actually kind of scary that somebody would make up a lie, especially coming off of the train each and every day, Monday through Friday. Um, it is a little nerve-wracking, and then to figure, find out that a woman uh, would make such a story up. I would not want to see true crime victims and then other sexual assault victims not come forward because of what they see in this case. This is rare. The entire story was fabricated. Malik is out on bond tonight, but her legal troubles are far from over. She's charged with filing a false police report. Now, that's a felony in Illinois. She could spend Robin Kate one to three years in jail or get probation. You got to wonder, what was she thinking? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Sure enough. Pam, thank you.